I mean, it is what it is, right? You kind of got to go for those, man. No protect. Okay, easy. <laughs> That's a really easy way to do it. Nice. We... have to prepare for Brawly. First gym. So, I have a rare candy that I can evolve Surskit with because the rare candies are a, are a select optional item in this game that allow you to go over the level cap if you want. But you have to use them up. And I guess I want to see if I can find a strat that doesn't involve Masquerade, but I probably, from watching other people stream this game, I probably, even with these encounters, I probably have to. Okay, so if I put Quillfish up against this... I mean, I do win. And then I can go... And then the idea would be Dreadnought on Lopunny. Save HP on Quillfish. I see. Yeah, that makes more sense to me. Okay, okay, I can see where this is going. So, we wear Candy, the Choodle, to become Dreadnought. Yeah, I feel like Quillfish, yeah, exactly. Quillfish kind of does what Masquerade's supposed to do in this fight. Look at this guy. I've missed this theme. I've missed this theme! Alright, he wants to sucker punch me, we're gonna sleep powder him. Nice. Very good. Important thing about the AI in this game with Sucker Punch, if it feels like it's not hitting you with Sucker Punch, it'll start using different moves. So, let's try to kill this before it wakes up. That works. That most definitely works. Okay, so this should be Law Punny, I think. Yep. It wants to retaliate. We will tank that sh with the clue. Wonderful. Uh, now it goes Drain Punch, we go Quillfish. And this is like a base, this is a huge, I think this is Max Attack Quillfish. So, Retaliate guaranteed kills here. There's no reason to keep Intimidating or whatever, we just... Or not Retaliate, uh, Revenge. We just click Revenge and fucking kill him. Huge start. This has an eject button, so killing this in one shot is pretty huge. The eject button plus retaliate combo is really dangerous otherwise. Okay, so this one's the Thunder Punch. Um, I think the play here is to pivot through Egg and then go to Piplup Cheer You Up. Um, I do not want to attack this with Quillfish, even though I have an outspeed and two shot, because, well, first of all, it has speed boost. Second of all, um, I want to keep Quillfish healthy for the hit on top, which is a demon. So, um, let's think about this a little bit more, though. Uh, does this even guaranteed Thunder Punch? I don't think it does. Because, yeah, it doesn't see a kill or anything. It might work up this turn. Um, I think the idea is exactly execute. I guess the problem with execute is it baits incinerate. There's no, there's no real way around this, is there? Primplup getting incinerated doesn't matter, right? Like, I guess the cherry berry was a waste then. Um... So yeah, but it, it doesn't matter. There was no other item to equip here anyway. So, we go Eggy. This is fine. Let's see Incinerate. Let's not see Work Up. Could I have gotten double work up there? 
Okay, now we need to get not crit by Thunder Punch and not get paralyzed into full paralyzed by Thunder Punch because we're about to kill with Bubble Beam into Aqua Jet. Nice. Cool. We're low HP here, so... Could this ever be like Hitmontop Pursuit? Yeah, am I f***ed here? It's Jover! Uh, this is... He might not... Um, so fake out kills. We know. Okay, Mock Punch has like a lot of killing rolls. So, I guess it's Jover for our boy Printplup, but... I don't really know if I had a way to play around that, to be honest. I'm not really sure. I guess at least it's a free switch to Quillfish if... He kills it. It's probably so. I think the way the AI works with it is that I, th I think the AI can't because pursuit technically doesn't kill right now, right? But I think it calculates it based on double pursuit damage or some. Sh oh, AI sees pursuit unboosted. Then we're fine. Pursuit never kills from here, unboosted. Then it's always mock punch. Oh yeah, we're good. So this should always be mock punch. 25% or below is Pursuit AI Threshold. Oh, okay, so you guys lied to me. Thank you. We can turn you guys up a little bit. Hold on. I think it's like this one. Yeah. Okay, it's Jover for Primplup. It's fine, though. He cheered us up. Yeah. Brave Warrior. What are you gonna do, man? I don't know if I had a way to play around that. We can go over it later, but... I don't really... I guess I could have used Quillfish. It doesn't really matter. I feel like it's really hard to kill that Combuskin with something... So I could have stayed in with Quillfish, Bubble Beamed the Combuskin once, and then switched to... and then pivoted. Um and then killed with Aqua Jet, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like this is, I feel like there wasn't really a way there, unfortunately. If I can pivot on like something that's not incinerate on the switch in, I get my berry off. But I guess then he also does more damage, right? On the switch in. Ugh. Yeah, this is a hard fight to do optimally, but I'm pretty happy with the results so far. We just spam. Okay, wait. Actually, revenge is more damage than poison fang. The only downside is rock slide flinch, right? Because if I poison fang, I'm faster. I think it's worth it. Well, that's a little bit unfortunate. Fan P was the answer. Yeah, true. Okay, and so from here it should be double poison fang. Because that looks like a range to me too. And, um, oh yeah, it's definitely a range to two at KO. So poison fang will definitely two at KO here. Should I pivot to Dreadnought first? Oh yeah, true. Why didn't I do that? Well, punished. Actually pun- well, it, it's not punished, because I got double crit anyway, so it doesn't matter. It would have crit through the Intimidate. <laughs> I mean, that is- it is what it is, man. What are you gonna do about that? Uh... 
What do I do here? Um, speed roll slower. It's probably eggy, right? Ugh, that's a bad death. Eggy tanks a pursuit and then kills. I think that's my only option. Beedrill's slower. Dreadnought takes too much damage. Yeah. Yeah, pivots through Dreadnought would have not saved me, right? Well, I guess... No, it's it's still better because I take less damage on the switch in. Well, that's a beginner mistake. If Eggy gets crit, it's kind of Jover. Is Dreadnought maybe better? Dreadnought probably can't even kill this. Yeah, we gotta go Eggy and hope that we don't get crit. I could go Mighty in a first into Eggy. Doesn't play around crit though. It doesn't really do anything, I think. It leaves Eggy with a little bit more health, but I don't think that matters. Um If I kill this with Eggy, it's Poliwhirl, which means Ice Beam Freeze on the Beedrill on the switch in is a lose condition. Is Mighty Enough faster? I don't think so, right? Nope. Hmm. I think this is the only way. It's 1 HP. Yeah, but I have, like, nothing that, like... I have, like, nothing that outspeeds. Uh, Dreadnought Pivot to catch the Ice Beam is just correct, right? Am I missing anything? I think this is just the correct move. Because it baits HP Grass. Yeah. And it plays around the freeze, and if Dreadnought gets frozen, I don't really care. Pursuit Crit was also a range to kill on Execute, so I think it was the right move. Oh man, double crit on the f***ing Quill. My first ever Brawly, and I get back-to-back -back crit. That's... It's the Squirk special. It's okay, though. Okay, um... Pin Missile is pretty likely to 2 it KO. Uh, there's no reason to bug bite, right? Because it's just pretty easy and straightforward. Oh. This has an expert belt, so there's no reason to bug by it. Nice. Huge. Okay. This is Rock Tomb. Guaranteed. Um, let's actually think about what's better here. Rock Tomb means my Diana is slower. Oh, this is... Oh, it's Eggy. It's it's Egg Pivot, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Egg Pivot. Rock Tomb is 20 to 25. And then we should bait Guaranteed. Uh, yeah, it should, it should be Guaranteed Faint Attack. Unless he's super high rolls on the Rock Tomb. He can maybe Rock Tomb again. 
Um, my neighbors ring my doorbell again, but I'm not available. There is no rock tomb ranges that kill from here, so... Faint attack. We got it! <sighs> but at what cost? I wonder if there was a... A way to not lose Prinplup in hindsight. That seems really hard. The pursuit on the Hitmontop is really, really evil. The, the double crit on Quillfish is whatever, I don't really... I still should have probably pivoted once on Quillfish, but like it would have not played around double crit anyway, so... Oh wait, did I... Did I get crit on the switch in? Wait, no! Wait, what am I talking about? Quillfish came in for free. There was no pivot there. Yeah, that's all good. Different running to bait out top before Combuskin, yeah. So maybe maybe there was a Masquerade angle, I don't know. But this just seems really hard to do without, um... Can you f***ing stop? This just seems really hard to do without... Dreadnought. I don't know. I don't really know how I could have gotten the Hitmontop out first. Quillfish tanking the Retaliate does win, but then I'm then I'm out of counters to Hitmontop. Right? Like I needed Quillfish for the Hitmontop. I don't know. This seems it seems tricky. Alright. I'll take a shroomish. Is 27 months worth German stream for 10 minutes? What? What? No. Delay for Spore. Let's see. Control F, Shroomish. Spore is level 40. I don't know about that one. Hi. Mr. Shoes. But that's not going to fit. We got to do it like this. That's a cute name. The toggleable repellent is from now on, ever since Crystal Kaiser Plus, should be a feature in every single f***ing ROM hack that ever comes out, okay? If I ever catch you releasing a ROM hack that doesn't have this sh This guy's missing 4 HP for some reason, but... You a fan of pre-heal gym leaders? I think it makes a lot of sense, um, thematically. People can believe this game. I think there are two confirmed hardcore Nuzlocke wins on this game. What the f*** are you doing not putting pickles on a cheeseburger, bro? No, no, I'm a child. I'm a small child and I do not like pickles. Says the man who doesn't eat the crust off his pizza. Name one more adult thing than avoiding empty calories, okay? Does this have magical leaf? Zadu so doesn't actually outspeed, uh, but it's fun. I shouldn't. I shouldn't get crit killed. Um.
Uh, okay. If I miss on Bright Powder, can I get killed with a crit? Should I just be speeding up through these trainer fights, or should I be doing them for real when I do them the first time? I'm never really sure. I think we should probably be doing them for real, right? Yeah. Yeah. Act like you're in danger of losing the run for content. Listen, just because I'm growing my hair out doesn't mean I have to copy all of Purple Cliff's sh Okay, chill. Alright. Rich Boy Winston! I'll be surprised if this run makes it past Watson. Well, hey, I was going to do it for the content. And I was going back and forth on it. I thought I might throw. But now that... Jacob2of3 in chat... has banked on it... I'm invested. Uh, good start. I actually kinda don't win this interaction after one flinch, huh? <laughs> oh well. I don't know what I was thinking. I think I'm in crit range. Let's go, Masky. Pivot, I guess. It gives an additional leftovers tick, but... This thing's kinda hard to beat! I don't give it a stack. I'm gonna rock tomb this once. What coverage does this have? Rock smash. Do I keep it a buck or a buck fifty? Depends, man. I think Water Pulse might just kill from here, actually. Depends on how... How serious I am. Oh, Water Pulse is even close kill from here. Wait, what? Wait, is Fur Coat for, like, con... I'm so confused. Is Fur Coat contact moves only? Subathon win. I'm not really. I'm. I probably am not going to do a subathon this year. If I did, I would do it. I have like a week long commitment lined up every month until November. I guess I could do one in November. And then have content lined up for December. But I, I can't, you kind of already want to have the content lined up for November, but maybe. We'll see. I don't know. I feel like I need to find more consistent ways of doing streams instead of going all in for one month and then disappearing for half a year. But Did he defense drop me last turn? I don't know. Do you work something other than YouTube and streams? You would think so, right? <laughs> Based on my schedule. That's not a very nice defense drop. Can I get a kill here? That'd be dope. Yeah. My unit doesn't actually have any coverage. Wait, no, it's it's got firefighting. I'm not part water, right? 
This isn't every this isn't every other ROM hack ever made, so Mask Drain is not part water. <sighs> I'll calc it. There's probably no reason to, but two shot with struggle bug. I'm slower though, so I'll switch after this. Don't freeze. We'll be committing to the TwitchCon Nuzlocker basketball game draft. Yeah, I think I'm good on that, bro. <laughs> Literally have never held a basketball in my life. How? How have I never held a basketball in my life? <laughs> Americans telling on themselves in chat. I love them to death, man. I'm trying to get a ch sh shiny chimchar and shining pearl. My friend, I mean this in the best way possible. Nobody f***ing cares. I'm just... I'm just saying it like it is. Okay? Chat was afraid to say it. But we were all thinking it. Um, there's no good reason to stay in, right? There's no good reason to switch out either, so... <laughs> we can let Toxic take a little bit. Throw another side beam for the boys. Cedar's got shit special defense. We'll stay in another one. We'll stay in one more. Now it's maybe time to switch. It doesn't really f matter what I go to, huh? There's legit no mods today. The death command isn't even updated. And I honestly... I'll f***ing do it. Uh, Jesus Christ! Chill out, Cedra. Holy sh... Mod me. Number one rule of Twitch. Only ever mod people that don't ask for it. Alright, we're gonna get brined here again. Do I have... Why is the Cedra so f***ing fast? Holy sh**, dude. I think this is gonna be brine, right? Because I'm less than 50%. This should never be Aurora Beam. Oh, never mind. It's fine though, it doesn't do that much damage. Do have to switch on the Celio here, because I will get Whirlpool trapped and hate my life. This is a plus speed nature, actually. Uh... Oh wait, I have a quick attack on the Masquerade. You're right. Damn! Alright, Celio. Who do I want to trap you with? Beedrill seems fine. Mightyana seems good. Takes a little bit more damage than Beedrill though, and honestly, Thunderfang barely 
Doesn't even two shots, so it can, but it's a range. What's your limberry? Let's go to Beedrill, I think. What's Beedrill's damage output here? Yeah. If we get four hit pin missile, we can two shot. Do mods get paid? Well, maybe if they did, they'd be showing up, huh? for the 2k. I might as well poison jab from here. Is there any chance I lose this interaction if this like protects now and then the whirlpools me next turn? Nah, it'll be fine. I got too much damage. Okay, that's a little bit scary. So, like, he could protect, get another ice body heal. Nah, it'll be okay. Mods get paid in power, okay. Which, as we all know from succession, is a much more valuable currency. Okay, this is starting to get a little bit spooky, but I guess if he gets double protect, it's really f***ed. <laughs> Alright, Manat's running up Drayano lock right now. Oh my god, he got it. I don't think I'm dead. Oh yeah, hail stops here, we're fine. But that was a lot closer than I wanted it to be. Uh, I literally have no other play. Imagine this had like Ice Shard. time is it? Time to clock out. Well, I gotta clock into my second job. Maybe I'll be live before my thing, but that would be really early. We'll see. Or maybe I won't. Maybe I will, I'll be gone for six months. Who the f*** knows?